Hello, dear Aquarius. Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. And this is your mid month of July 2020 general and love reading. I'm doing a five card spread looking at what's going on with you. Thank you for your patience. And please remember this is a general reading that it will not resonate for all of you. Okay, don't forget to watch your moon and your rising sign. And dear Aquarius, we're having a second consecutive new moon in the sign of Cancer. The first new moon in Cancer last month was an eclipse. So this new moon at the last degrees of Cancer is going to be right across Saturn. So it's not going to be easy. So Aquarius, please spirit. Aquarius, what are they going through now? And in the future, we've got the now position is the Four of Cups. At the foundation in the distant past. Wow. You've been hurt. You've been hurt. Or you've hurt someone else. But, okay, it could go either way. We've got water here as well. What about the recent past? And we've got the King of Pentacles. Could be another earth sign that you're dealing with. But I do feel this could be another sign to you. What's on your mind? Ten of Cups. So you're at the four and the fourth cup has not been accepted, which means that something to do with family. You've had a disappointment. Something to do with family matters. Let's have a look at the near future. And we've got the Page of Pentacles. So this could be anything to do around family, children as well. What's at the bottom of the deck? We've got the Nine of Swords. Hmm. A lot of worry. Dear Aquarius, if you've been dealing with an earth sign and they're not accepting your cup, you're worried sick about that. There's a lot of worry, stress and anguish here. Also, children can be involved. But this could be also, um, we could also have an outsider here as we've got the Three of Swords. There's the Queen of Pentacles, which is your partner the person that you are trying to manifest. Now I'm going to say uh, we can flip the reading around, of course. We've got a fair bit of air here. So these may have been words um, that have come from the Queen of Pentacles, something th that maybe hurt you. As I said, you could flip the reading around. Maybe you hurt this Queen of Pentacles. Someone was holding back with their emotions, with their money matters. Someone felt the miser. Queen of Pentacles may have felt as though you were holding back and she may be the one that's worried sick here if she has earth uh, air in her chart as well. Let's look at love. Uh, Aquarius, please spirit. Aquarius. And we have demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. That's the advice for you. Number 48. Find out what is important to them and act on it. Interesting. Demonstrate love, which means, especially with the four of pentacles here, this is usually my, my Taurus card and it's sitting right on the Taurus card. So we've got... A marriage here maybe someone was holding back not speaking their truth that they were in a commitment before committing to someone and in relation to money they were in two minds choosing between two people maybe they married for the money I don't know whatever the case I do feel here someone is holding back on their emotions holding on to their money Maybe there is uh, stinginess here. The King of Pentacles is someone that is usually quite well off. But because this is for me, it's usually my King of Pentacles is Taurus. And the Four of Pentacles says to me that you're holding back on your money. You're, uh, maybe you're feeling the miser if someone else, the other person, is holding back on money or their emotions. You can take the reading whichever way it speaks to you. But that is what's going on here. We have the Four of Pentacles and we've got the Four of Cups. 
So holding back on money is holding back on emotions. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Fours always speak of home and family. On your mind is the Ten of Cups. You want that white picket fence. You want to be happy and balanced where family is concerned. Maybe someone was not ready for a commitment. That could be you. Now, but what's on your mind is the Ten of Cups, which includes that someone accepts this cup. We've got the moon. We've got the divine masculine. And we've got the ring. So yes, this can speak of someone being in a commitment and they were deceptive about it. They did not open and communicate this. Or for others of you, this could be someone that really feels as though they're ready to take that plunge and commit. Um, but maybe they've been holding back on their true emotions. They've been deceptive. They've been buckled up. about their true emotions or about their true ideas where marriage and commitment is concerned or the, the reality of it, of what their obligations are. And we've got the mother here, the mother bear, which can speak of strength of character. This is also very protective, very controlling. This could be a protective mother. This is, we've also got the moon, which is very motherly. And this could also say that this can also tell me here that, um, dear Aquarius, you may be ready now to manifest the Ten of Cups as this offer here could be coming back around or you're bringing in this offer as you want to build on something long term. Now, some of you may already share a child, but there hasn't been an actual marriage here. And I've, I don't know why, but I feel as though this King of Pentacles, whoever this is, whether this is you or someone else, I feel as though they may have fears of committing because they've maybe a, a family member of theirs uh, was heartbroken, maybe there was divorce, and therefore they were not willing to take the chance to get hurt themselves. Whatever the case is, the Three of Swords uh, comes from the past, right? This is from the foundation. This, these roots go deep. Let's take more cards. And we know that the King of Pentacles is someone that's very much about their money, their business. Usually it's someone very dependable, but it's it can be someone that's all about money and business and no emotion. If this was um, your Aquarius, if this is another earth sign that you're dealing with that only thinks about money, stability and something long term but not open emotionally to commit, maybe that's where the heartbreak is. Let's look at this Three of Swords. And we've got the Six of Swords. So that's nine swords all up. Now, some of you may be at a distance from each other. You may have emotionally distanced uh, yourself from the other person as there's been some sort of disappointment as the offer has not been accepted. Let's have a look at the offer. And we've got the sun. This is true love. Whatever the case is, the uh, offer was not accepted because it wasn't the right time. Um, we've got a page and the card of Leo. Leo is very strong here. Um, and this does also show a child. Someone may have wed because of a child, maybe an accident pregnancy, and they had to, even though their heart wasn't in it, they married for the child. And that could be the disappointment, dear Aquarius. Um, that you've had. Now, as I said, you can flip the uh, reading around. Could be the other way around. Let's look at that Nine of Swords. 
and we've got the six of pentacles someone's trying to figure something out as there's been no equality no balance here no generosity where emotions are concerned and that's why this person is up in their head one person was giving more than the other but this is also fear of yeah maybe i made a mistake and i married for the child but i'm also i've got a lot of money money um problems now because i have to i'm going to be facing legalities i'll be having to pay money out as well you do have two sixes here let's have a look at that ten of cups two cards want to come out we've got the moon and the seven of wands there's been deception there has been deception now this could be from a mother figure someone's been trying to suss out things that have been hidden okay and because the other person may have blocked them we can have ghosting here as well um and i'm going to say for those of you that your beloved married because of an accidental pregnancy um they may have also, all, also blocked you. You don't have communication. That's why there's a lot of worry here and fear. Now, for others of you, um, for those of you that married for the child, looks as though um, you may be dealing with someone that's quite deceptive um, or a mother that manipulated the situation um, as she saw this connection as being fit even though maybe it wasn't something that made you happy dear Aquarius let's look at the king of pentacles and we've got the five of wands so family feud um, conflict here an imbalance let's take another card arguments and we've got judgment someone's been judged quite harshly and i feel that the judgment could have come towards the aquarian um, and i do feel dear aquarius that you may be wanting to go back to the person that maybe judged you quite harshly but you were worried that they would not accept you back but this card here is saying that this situation has gone through many um, changes okay it's been dead for a while but it's time for the resurrection as this is a wake-up call now you are very conflicted about this and you're more than likely wanting a second chance you're coming back around as you've realized that this is true love but this can also mean that if there has been a family feud and deception for those of you that have chosen the wrong person because of a mother figure because of motherhood because of a child then this is you awakening that this is not what my heart desires let's have a look at the page of pentacles because you are planning for the future something that you want long term And we've got the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So we've got Strong Earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, the uh, Knight of Pentacles is my Virgo card. Let's have a look. Let's take one more card here. And we've got the Seven of Swords. Wow. Seven of Swords. So there has been deception here. There's been something that's been hidden. Now, this is someone also being very intelligent, maybe uh, planning for the future and not opening up their cards to other people. So a secret planning towards the future. And then all of a sudden, someone takes a leap of faith. They send out that message. Now, Seven of Swords could also be someone that is, um, they did something in their past, but they're looking back at it and they've got cold feet. I feel that there are regrets here. Dear Aquarius, if you've done the uh, 
if you've kept the truth from someone, then you're having regrets and you're willing to take a re uh, risk and send out that message. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Wow. This is the end of the end. So you are closing the door on something that hurt you greatly. And you know the Ten of Swords turns into the Ace of Swords. So you could be severing ties with the past, the pain in the past, and there's the mother figure. As I said, we've also got the bear here, so something to do with motherhood. Nevertheless, the ending is here. Something is growing in the belly of this empress. Something that is going to be divine. Um, and I'm going to say that you may also, um, yes, for some of you, you may have been dealing with a mother, you know, the mother of your child that was very manipulative and stabbed you in the back. Therefore, you're closing the door on that. This could also be your own mother that manipulated you and brought this ending where your relations are concerned. I do feel here steady progress, okay, as the page turns into the night. There is intelligence here and there's creation. And we, even with the moon, we've got a lot of creation here that can, with, with putting in the effort, get you to, to the Ten of Cups. And this is help with through spirit as well. Wherever you're going, you're leaving this disappointment behind. All right, dear Aquarius. I want to take a card on this divine masculine here in the Lenormand. I hope you could see the cards. There you go. Let's take a card on this divine masculine. And we've got the fish. So, yes, it does have to do with prosperity, with money, with, with business. Okay. And that's a number seven. Seven is spirit as well. Here we've got the sun, which is Leo. Leo is in charge. Leo is the king. Leo is also true love, but it's also healing. There is a sense of healing as this offer comes right back to you. It comes right back because the Archangel Michael is resurrecting this offer of love again. A new beginning, dear Aquarius, that can bring you happiness. If as long as you leave the past pain in the past and you move on, it's all about your perception. Now, this can be physical move, a physical move or an intellectual Okay, get your mind moving, be smart, move on with your life if you need to close the door on your past, right? There it is. There's that Ace of Cups. There it is. You've been waiting for a new beginning, dear uh, Aquarius. You have, but you've had to sacrifice and release something karmic. Here you are. Here is your energy. There is the star. So whatever wishes you've sent out to spirit, they're coming back to you, okay? Especially with this, this card here. The divine masculine is someone that's very prosperous, very lucky. And I'm going to say they've done the work though and it's time for their luck to come back to them, okay? And, of course, demonstrating love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. It's time for you to do that, dear Aquarius, as maybe you have been holding back on that in the past. All right. I will leave you with that. If this did not resonate, watch your moon, your rising, your Mars if you're masculine, your Venus if you're feminine, and your north node if you're familiar with that. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Sending you much love, many blessings.